Design process is an architectural design that meets the end user capability needs to have all stated and derived requirements allocated to lower level system elements and to have the possibility of meeting cost, schedule, and performance objectives. Key activities in the architecture design process include analysis and synthesis of the physical architecture and the appropriate allocation, analysis of the constraint requirements, identify and define physical interfaces and system elements, and identify and define critical attributes of the physical system elements, including design budgets and open system principles. There are many uh, software that we do in this, uh, uh, in this field, uh, architectural field. Eh? So one of them is uh, Vectorworks. So why we choose Vectorworks? Because of uh, the, uh, it's like a much um, uh, user-friendly kind of a, a tool. So whoever design in the screen, uh, they can always uh, print that out and bring that to the presentations, just like that. So they cut off the process of having a, a you as, as a designer, and then uh, there are another layers of uh, people who are handling a drawing, there's another people who are handling a, a production. So we want to cut of that, uh, that layers. Now. The architecture design process has six steps. Define the problem, collect information, brainstorm, develop solutions, feedback and improve. These steps provide guidance and guiding rules to the architect and architectural description development team. The process is data-centric rather than product-centric and ensures synchronization between views while ensuring that all essential data relationships are captured to support a wide variety of analysis tasks. The views created as a result of the architecture development process provide visual renderings of the underlying architectural data and convey information of interest needed by specific user or decision makers. Architects work with the client to define the project. Once the problem is defined, architects will spend time gathering information to help them understand the neighborhood, the site, and the users of the building. So this is what uh, we say uh, blow up plan or detailed plan that you need to went through all the components, the blow up details of the particular sections, uh, and everything. Typically, this means taking photographs, sketching, and interviewing the client. It's also valuable to collect information on the natural environment, so architects may gather data on the path of the sun around the site, the direction of the wind, the climate, as well as what types of plants are currently growing around the site. Architects may begin sketching or making diagrams to help them understand how all the data and information they've collected may impact the design of the building. These early drawings will help the architects document their ideas because it's likely the solution will change as they go along. At the develop solution stage in the design process, architects will create drawings with specific solutions to be shown to the client. Schematic drawings as these are typically called help illustrate the big ideas and space requirements of the project. Schematic drawings usually do not include dimensions or other construction-related notes. No solution is perfect the first time around, so it's critical that the architects continue the discussion with the client to receive feedback. With feedback in hand, the architects will go back and continue to revise and improve the final solution. Over the next several months or even years, the architecture firm will work with the client to refine the original design. Based on analysis of cost versus needs, together the firm and the client will closely review the solutions and make balanced decisions on which features will stay, which will be redesigned and which may be eliminated.